You guys see that hotel right behind me there? Well, that is the most expensive hotel in this entire city. You guys will never guess how much it costs. $438 per night. That is a lot of dough for a hotel. <laughs> Anyways though, that had really no significant, I guess, value to the, the topic of today's video, which is how to prevent or how to handle setbacks when you have them in life, because they will come and it's just good to be ready for any setback you have. I'm sure you guys have already had like setbacks or just things going on you know, like in life. So today we are going to learn about and talk about how we can handle these setbacks and possibly how to even prevent them. Let's go. Alright guys, so number one is don't let it consume you when you have a setback. This is a lot of a common problem that I see a lot with a lot of people because they focus on this one setback. Like, oh shoot man, I messed up. Or oh no, this I failed at this or I failed at that. It's good to I guess acknowledge this, but when you acknowledge it too much and give it too much power, it just cripples you. So I actually posted an Instagram quote earlier today. I'll link in my Instagram down right here. It says Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Albert Einstein. So what I'm trying to say here is that when you have a setback, you obviously want to, want to acknowledge it and what you did wrong there. But you also want to move forward through it and also learn through it. It's kind of like failure, but more of just moving forward and not actually acknowledging it and learning from it. Because setbacks, yes, you can learn from them, but they're more just a part of life and you, and you can't really help that. Guys, I would fly a drone here, but Birmingham does not allow you to fly a drone like anywhere within like few like few miles out of the city you can't fly a drone so I mean <laughs> I guess the spark will have to stay in the case for now at least for now hopefully soon it'll come out boys you know exactly what time it's for all right guys so some people actually make the mistake of thinking that all setbacks are actually bad, especially like in the gym, for example. But this actually is not the case because when you face a setback, it can honestly set you back, yes, but it can propel you forward to something even greater. So for example, this would be, I guess, in, in the gym, you know, you're having trouble with your recovery and then you get, like, let's say, a bicep injury, right? Bicep injury, you all of a sudden, can't work out for a week, you're about to strain. But a week later you come back and then you feel stronger, you feel better, and your biceps actually look, maybe even, look, even looks a little bigger. So this is kind of what I'm talking about here is that it can propel you forward even when you don't think it will. But I actually faced a setback earlier uh, on Tuesday. I kind of pulled my lower back a little bit. Um, that's not probably, I mean, I don't, it, it could be a good setback, but for the most part though, I need to like heal. So today I'm just gonna be doing upper, upper body. So probably arms, chest, shoulders. But I'm not gonna go like too heavy because or else I don't wanna like, you know, strain anything or trigger it. But it should be good within like, about I say a week. It's not major at all. But let's get the workout. Alright, take that back. We're actually gonna be doing the full body today with just no exercises that stress the lower back. Let's go. Point number two, 
is that it's not permanent. So I'm at a uh, breakfast restaurant right now called First Watch. It's really good food. Like, really good food. I got an omelet and you guys gotta see this. It's great, it's great. It's amazing. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah, so we got avocado, eggs, potatoes, I think bacon, bread, jelly, and then some fruit here too. Um, it's funny. I got stopped by a, a waiter, and now they're gonna subscribe to my channel, which is hilarious. Well, I honestly love that stuff like that though. It's, it's great, man. Like, just positive vibes, dude. It's what it's all about, man. Positive vibes, but I will uh, tell you guys in a minute after I finish food. And, but yeah, let's go. If there's one key point you need to know in life, it's that nothing is really permanent. To have a setback, this is not a permanent thing. Yes, setbacks are temporary and they can potentially last long or short depending, but it's all important to just know that it's not permanent. So if you realize this, then you can get through it more easily and know that there's an end to it. And there's, there's an end to everything. There's an end to life, there's an end to, I guess, your dreams, there's, there's an end to your goals. You, you reach your goal, you start a new one. So in general, it's really important that you actually know this. And so you can apply it to your setbacks and I guess other stuff in life besides your setbacks. Now, the setbacks can come in all different shapes and sizes, but they all come to an end at some point. So I think that having this aspect in your, I guess, your toolbox really can help you get through these setbacks more effectively and more efficiently. So if there's one takeaway you want to know is that nothing really lasts forever and that it's only temporary. guys it's about 11 o'clock at night right now but let's finish this video strong number three is to not play the blame game all right guys to keep this as straightforward as it possibly can you cannot blame your setbacks for other outside problems for example you could say oh i had this setback because my wife did this or i had this setback because of the economy or i had this setback because of the other president all these kind of outcomes can really weigh you down when it comes to accountability. And accountability can lead to more success by knowing exactly how to handle a situation when the time comes. Instead of saying, you know, oh, it's not my problem because it wasn't my fault. You could say instead, oh, this is my fault because I had this setback. What can I do to improve it? better and what can I do to help myself the process so it's really kind of a growing process and a growing trait you need to learn in order to take, take accountability for your setbacks and this just doesn't even go with setbacks it goes with your problems it goes with your anxieties it goes with your guess, anything you have in life you're dealing with you need to take initiative and accountability for it and know that it's actually like your fault in a sense. I know this concept might sound harsh and even like the building in a sense, but if you understand this concept, major CEOs and major, I guess, people that are high up, take accountability for each action and each problem they have and take. And the reason why it's important to know this is because setbacks are about half the time are almost, your, almost, almost always your fault. So how you can cope with this is that you can take accountability for it and just overall know that it's your setback and no one else is setback and you need to deal with it and no one else so why blame anyone else when there is all only yourself to blame so that's all i got a pretty long point i know but it had it had to be said guys it had to be said it had to be done <laughs> but overall i thought it's a pretty solid point and i'm going to cut to the outro right now anyways guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe but make sure to have the jaws of life swallow you alive nathan out oh and by the way make sure you stay tuned for next week's video it's a lit video it's about how i lost my drone like for real for real lost my drone <laughs> you don't want to miss that one trust me you do not want to miss that one i'll see you guys later